hello everyone in this lecture we are going to discuss pointers in c++ pointer is a variable that is used to hold memory address of another variable or we can say it is used to point another variable of similar data type so here i have taken one variable a of type integer holding value 25 internally it will occupy a memory block with some address the actual address would be some hexadecimal value but for our convenience we have taken some decimal value here so it will label it as a and store 25 into that block next i am creating one pointer variable so for that internally it will occupy a memory block with some address that is 2000 and label this block as p so this is the way how you can declare the pointer variable now the task of pointer variable is to hold memory address of another variable so now we want to store address of variable a to this pointer variable for that we are supposed to write p equals to and a and a represents address of a so here address of a is thousand and that is to be copied to label so thousand will be stored in this memory block so ultimately p is pointing to variable a now let us see some c++ statements to point a variable in detail in first line i am printing and a that is address of a here in our case it is thousand so it will be printing thousand next statement is we are printing p so the value of p is right now thousand so it would be printing thousand over here next i am printing and a that will be address of variable p or address of label p so label p having address 2000 so it will be printing 2000 here now most important thing is we are printing pointer p or we can say star p here star indicates value at address that means value at address in right hand side open so here star p means value at address p now we know that p that is thousand so if i replace thousand with p over here so value at address thousand that would be 25 so here it will display 25 so whenever you want to print value at particular address you are supposed to write star over here in next line and a that will be thousand so value at address thousand again it will be 25 now i am applying plus plus so star p that will be 25 plus plus and it will be 26 so if i print star p it will be 26 if i print a it will be again 26 because if you change in pointer variable p ultimately it is changing on variable a p is just pointing to a so if you print a it will be 26 over here let us understand pointer to pointer variable pointer to pointer is a variable that holds a memory address of another pointer variable that means we are having variable a that will occupy one memory block some address and it will label as a next i'm creating one pointer variable and one pointer to pointer variable so for these two it will occupy two memory blocks with some address and label it as p and s now the pointer variable is used to store address of another variable so here i'm writing p equals to and a and s is a pointer to pointer variable that is used to hold memory address of another pointer variable we are having one pointer variable p if i want to store address it will store address thousand that is address of variable a so ultimately p is pointing to variable a now s is a pointer to pointer variable and it is used to store address of another pointer variable here we are having p as pointer variable so we are going to store address of p in pointer to pointer variable so for that i am writing s equals to and p address of p that is 2000 will be stored in variable s so ultimately s is pointing to pointer variable p so let us see some statements here i am displaying star p that is value at address p so ultimately it will be displaying 25 star s so here s is 2000 value at address 2000 that is thousand so it will be displaying thousand star star s here s is two thousand so first star star two thousand it will be thousand and star thousand it will be twenty five here and person p address of p that is two thousand value at address two thousand that is thousand value at thousand that is twenty five so it will be displaying twenty five and s that is three thousand 
value at address 3000 that is 2000 value at address 2000 that will be 1000 and value at 1000 that will be 25 so you can use point a variable to point actual value in any manner next let us discuss pointer to arrays i'm having one array with initialized value 10 20 30 and so on so ultimately in backend it will occupy five memory blocks with some address and indexing will be starting with 0 to 4 here i have taken one pointer variable now if i want that pointer to point this array i will be writing and address of zeroth element of array so it will be thousand and thousand will be stored to that pointer so ultimately pointer will point to zeroth element for this statement you can also write pointer equals to array so if you write just array name ultimately it will refer address of very first element of array so if you write pointer equals to array name or address of zeroth element both statements are same but in general case we will write like this so here i am writing one for loop inside that pointer plus i address plus 0 address plus 1 address plus 2 up to 5 but it will increment in scale of 2 bytes because our pointer variable is of type integer if it is character it will increment by 1 if it is float then it will be incremented by 4 bytes so it will display output like this star pointer plus 0 here pointer is 1000 plus 0 that will be 1000 value at 1000 that will be 10 in next i will be 1 so 1000 plus 1 it will not be 1001 it will be 1002 it, it will increment address in scale because pointer is of type integer variable so it will increment in 2 bytes in every iteration if it is float variable it will increment by 4 bytes in every iteration so here pointer plus 1000 plus 1 that will be 1002 value at 1002 that is 20 and so on so this is the way how pointer to arrays work now most important thing is pointer to objects just like pointers to normal variables and functions we can have pointers to class members as well here i am having one class with public member a equals to 50 now i am creating one object that is abc ob1 and one pointer variable to that class if i store address of object 1 to pointer then this ptr will point to object so if i want to access this member a i would be writing ob1 dot a but now pointer is pointing to this object so through this pointer i can access this variable a i will write pointer arrow operator and a so if you are referring any class member with pointer variable we are supposed to write arrow operator rather than dot operator so when you are accessing a member of class given a pointer to an object use the arrow operator instead of dot operator so you can generalize this statement that the class members can be accessed using object with dot operator but if it is pointer variable then we are supposed to write arrow operator let us see the example here i am having class demo one private member is i public member is one constructor that is demo and i am passing some value so that it is a parameter as constructor next i am writing one get data function and it will return value i so inside main i am calling this parameter as constructor by passing value 55 one pointer variable is declared now we can use this pointer to point object of class demo so we'll write and d that will be stored in pointer address of object d will be stored to pointer so pointer will ultimately point d so you can access this class members using d as well as pointer variable so let us access it if i write pointer arrow get data control will jump to over here it will return some integer i value that is 55 so here output will be 55 let us see another example here i am having variable i one parameter as constructor demo get data inside main i am creating array of objects and initializing with 55 66 and 77 respectively so you can call parameter as constructor by passing initialized value as well so if i refer d of 0 that will be your first demo object d of 1 that will be second object and d of 2 that will be third demo object now i am creating one pointer variable i want to store address of first element of this 
array so i am writing star pointer equals to d so if you write these or these both are equal next i'm writing loop inside that i'm calling get data using pointer and it will be called three times for each object first time it will return 55 then 66 and 77 and i'm incrementing pointer variable so it will be incremented in a scale of this demo object when a pointer is incremented it points to next element of its type so if it is integer it will point to next integer if it is demo type then it will point to next demo type so this is all about pointers and objects thank you